So I've been flying drones for a little over a year now, and one of the things that's come along with that is getting into photography and video editing, posting stuff to my YouTube channel and Instagram and just sharing uh, what I'm enjoying, the creative aspect of flying. And one of the questions that I get very frequently is, how fast do your drones go? So we're going to answer that today. For today's testing, we're going to be flying a 533 Tiny Trainer with 3-inch props and a 3S450 battery and a 5-inch Xylo Freak racing frame with a 4S1300 milliamp hour battery. We're going to be using a local football field. It's iced over and fenced in. The weather is about 36 degrees Fahrenheit with a 13 mile per hour wind. Fortunately, the sun is out, so 36 doesn't feel too cold. We're going to enlist the help of a friend, Officer LeGrave, with some LIDAR, which is light detection and ranging. That's right, we got lasers. You can just uh, call out your speed. Yep. Are you ready? This one's a little bigger, you should be able to track it easier. Yeah. <laughs> So let's take a look at the numbers and see how we did. On the 5 inch racing rig, we have a weight of 551 grams, a top speed with the wind at our back of 91 miles per hour, and coming into the wind, 65 miles an hour. A 26 mile an hour difference, which if we split, shows a 13 mile per hour wind, which is what was forecast for the day. If you take that difference, it gives us an average speed of 78 miles per hour for the 5 inch rig running on 4S batteries. The 3 inch tiny trainer weighs in at 167 grams, and we were only able to capture a speed of 48 miles per hour, and that was coming into the wind. So if we use the 13 mile per hour wind that was forecast and confirmed with the 5 inch rig, we add that to the 48, we get 61 miles per hour as an average speed for that. Uh, overall, I think the day was a success, and perhaps we'll do some more testing in the future. Be safe out there, and have a good day.